Hello students, how are you all? This is Kiran Pothra. I am the Math Faculty of Anand Medical Academy. So today I would like to introduce the topic Arithmetic Progression which comes under CBSC and also in state SSLC also. Okay. So in maths, Arithmetic Progression. So what do you mean by progression and arithmetic and what are its types and how we have to approach it? I will clear your concepts regarding this chapter. So keep watching. So first of all, before going into the topic arithmetic progression, first of all, you should know what do you mean by sequence and what do you mean by series. Sequence and then series and then. I will give you two examples of sequence and then series, then you will understand easily. So sequence, for example, a set of numbers like 2 and then 4, 6, 8, so on. If we have some particular numbers in a definite order, okay, it should have some particular formula. So like if you observe here, if you add 2, it will become 4, again you add 2, it will become 6, again you add, it will become 8. Similarly, if we have any type of numbers with some formula, okay, with some identity, so that we consider as sequence. Now when we will consider it as a series. When a sequence in terms of summation like 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus so on. This is we consider as series. Okay. The sequence, summation of that sequence of that numbers we will consider as series. Now, now what are these related to arithmetic progression? What are those related to arithmetic progression? I will tell you. See, here arithmetic progression we will represent with AP when the sequence of numbers, okay, arithmetic progression means when the sequence of numbers follows a rule that is difference of two numbers. So, I will write the sequence first 2, 4, 6, 8, so on. But if you observe, so this sequence we will consider as arithmetic progression. Why? Because if you observe the difference between these two, I think about 4 minus 2. As I will consider this as T1, T2, T3, T4. Here T1, T2, T3, T4 are nothing but terms. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. In this sequence, if we take any sequence, T2 minus T1 or else T4 minus T3 or else T5 minus T4. If these are equal, what is T2 minus T1, T2 minus T1, nothing but 4 minus 2, T4 minus 3, T3, nothing but 8 minus 6, or else T5 minus T4, T5 will become 10, 10 minus 8. When these are equal to some particular number, nothing but 4 minus 2, 8 minus 6, 10 minus 8, which is equal to some constant, it may be negative or it may be positive, then that sequence will consider that is in arithmetic progression. Simple. So, whenever these differences, T2 minus T1 or T3 minus T2 or T4 minus T3, when those are all equal to some particular constant, then that particular constant will represent with small d. Nothing but the small d is nothing but common difference. Common difference. Nothing but we have done difference. But why common difference means the difference common difference that is difference for all equal. Nothing but commonly equal. So that will represent with d. When d is equal for all these cases, then we consider that sequence is in arithmetic progression. So in that arithmetic progression, the first term, the first term, nothing but t1, we will represent with small a. So that is here in this particular sequence, the cap small a is 2. Okay. So first term we will represent with 2, and the last term, okay, last term we will we can represent with l. First term small a, last term we will represent with l. Now, how to find some particular term? Here T1, T2, T3, T4 up to T5 only given. Now, how to find some particular nth term in that? Nth term is 20th term, 30th term. Similarly, how to find nth term? Nothing but Tn. So, for that we have a formula in AP that is A plus N minus 1 into D. You know what are A and D here? Already we discussed here that A is nothing but first term a is first term and this here uh, n is nothing but some particular term what we need. Okay, nth term means n value is n. If it is tenth term, that n value will become 10. So n is nothing but uh, what we need. Okay. 
what we need. Nothing but which term we need that will be the n value. Now here d d is nothing but common difference. Okay, common difference. So if we substitute those values, so we will get the particular term. So similarly, as in this sequence, I have written two, four, six, eight. Nothing but fourth term it came eight. But before knowing these numbers, okay. So how we can find it? T four fourth term based on this formula a plus n minus one into d. What is a here? Two plus which term we need to find for fourth term means four minus one three into d. What is d? Three into d is nothing but common difference. Difference we got four minus two two. So which is a two plus three two is a six. Nothing but eight. So like this also we get the particular term that is eight. Hope you understand how to find nth term. That may be t4 or t5 or t6. And the important formula: if a t n is a plus n minus one into d, t 21. That is a plus 20d. Similarly, t 17 median. That is a plus 16d. Why? Because every for every term we need to be n minus one. N means n minus one. Four means four minus one. 3d. 21 means 20d. 17 means it will be 60d. Okay, like this. Like this we will do. And uh, see one more thing. So this is particularly we will call it as nth term. See everything, whatever I tell uh, that you make a note of it in your notes, so then it will be useful. See here. Okay. For example, see if they given up to here like. So instead of ten, they given up to uh, like sixty uh, four. They given sixty four. Okay, here the last term is sixty four. Two, four, six, so on up to sixty four. Now how to find uh, how many number of terms are there here? How many number of terms? That how many number of terms also we can find by using that T n only. T n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. And then see the up to two, four, six, eight. Is there number of terms of four? Ten is the number of times five. Similarly, sixty-four times five is the number of times n. Number of times under n value find out more. As you know, a value is two plus n. We don't know n. We need to find n minus one into d. We know common difference that is two, which is equal to sixty-four. That n the term, particular term we know sixty-four, but number of times n value find out more. So this is a two plus two. After that, so n minus So this is n minus one into two is equal to sixty four minus two, which is sixty two. So n minus one is equal to sixty two by two. So n minus one is equal to thirty one, and n is equal to thirty two. Therefore, number of terms in this expansion is thirty two. So similarly, whatever they give value, whatever they give sequence, it may be common difference two, three, four, is that the way? So how many number of terms find out? Mark it. This formula we will use. Okay. So make a note of this. Next case, uh, this is how to find a nothing but number of terms. So another thing, sum of n terms. Okay. So that we will represent with S n. Other up to now we have found that number of terms is to some particular term, twentieth term or thirtieth term. We have found out more we can tell. I told you. Now how to find summation? So as it is a sequence. If they given this is in terms of Two plus four plus six plus eight plus ten. Okay, plus so on like this they went. So what is summation of all these? Two plus four plus six like that summation. So for that summation we have a formula in AP that is n by two into two a plus n minus one into d. So this is one of the formula to find S n. Nothing but sum of n natural numbers. Nothing nothing but sum of n terms. So another thing. Here, S N N formula is also there. That is n by two into a plus n. So I will tell you both the formulas how to find. So here, S N is nothing but sum of n terms. See previously, after finding under the extra terms, we have already we have found it. That is n value we got thirty two. N value thirty two we got. Okay. So number of terms. That n value we have to use here nothing but S thirty two. So how to find S thirty two is thirty two by two into two a. Two times of a is nothing but two plus n minus one. Thirty-two minus one, so thirty-one into d. Common difference that is two. So this is thirty-two by two sixteen into this is four plus sixty-two. So sixteen into four plus thirty-two is nothing but sixty-six. 
if you multiply this to product of this will become summation of this so this is one formula nothing but type one see another formula is also there to find sum of all terms so that is sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus n so this is the formula we can apply if we know the last term or if we don't know the last term also but if you know number of terms we can apply this formula but this is the formula special formula when we have to use is when we know the number of terms and again if you know first and last term then we will apply this but answer will get same only so n value 32 32 by 2 into a plus l first term to last term 64 so 32 by 2 16 into this is 66 again if you multiply you get the same answer so so this is how we need to find summation of all terms in the special that series arithmetic progression okay See after this, now I will give you, I will solve some problems regarding some of the concepts. So make a note of this. Well, well, well. Okay, these are the questions, guys. So which we can solve by using the basics of that arithmetic progression. So first question is, show that the progression below. Okay, show that the progression below is an AP. Find the next term. If it is in terms of arithmetic progression, we need to find next term. Nothing but fourth term we need to find. Next question is find A and B such that find A and B. This term and this term we need to find such that numbers form an AP. That, that means our A is E numbers AP is there. Find A and B. Next term, find the 21st term of the AP. See if we can you solve or else you watch how I will solve and how I will approach this problem. So based on that you can solve some of the examples in your textbook. See first question. Show that the progression below. So first of all, if it is root 18, root 50, root 18, root 98, we cannot identify whether these are in AP or not. Why? Because common difference is not big. AP is not D value find out not big. T2 minus T1 or else T3 minus T2. Anyone we can find. Why? Because common difference will be equal for all. So first we need to convert these into an, into simplification not big. So root 18 we can write as root 9 into 2. Root 9 into 2 means this will become 3 root 2, root 50 we can write as uh, root 25 into 2, nothing but this will become 5 root 2, next root 98 we can write as 49 times of 2 which is 7 root 2, yes guys now we got the idea, so what will be the common difference, so common difference how to find T2 minus T1 if it is in AP, so T2 minus T1 which is 5 root 2 minus 3 root 2 which is 2 root 2, so nothing but common difference is equal to 2 root 2. As you know that in arithmetic progression, the terms will be like a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d like this. So terms will be like this. See the already we have taken example that is 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 so on. So how we can form this series is if you know the common difference that is 2. Nothing but if we add 2 to this number, so it will become 4. 4 Again, you add 2 to this number, we will get 6. Again, if we add 2 to this number, we will get 8. Nothing but common difference, we need to add. So, right. So, similarly, here also, so we got 7 root 2, but they are asking next term. Next term means when 7 root 2, next term. So, nothing but how to find T4. T4 is nothing but T3 plus D. Why? Because for every term, we need to add D. D, another D, 2D, another D, 3D like that. So already we got 7 root 2 is, a, is third term plus common difference is 2 root 2. So nothing but T4 is equal to 9 root 2. So very simple. So like that we can find. So next question. Find A and B. Find A and B such that the numbers A comma 9 comma B comma 25 form an AP. APL is there. One of the common difference use model we can find these numbers. Common difference means as it is like T1, T2, T3, T4 agitre. So common difference for all will be equal. So nothing but D is equal to agitre. So T2 minus T, T1 also equal. T3 minus T2 also equal. Or else T4 minus T3. All will be equal, right? Now by using this condition, we will prove, we will find the value of A and B. So first condition, T2 minus T1. Nothing but 9 minus A. T3 minus T2. B minus 9 which is equal to T4 minus T3. Nothing but 25 minus B. And the other equal barve. All the equal barve. Now B value find out. First I will take these two terms. Okay. 
So this is b minus 9 is equal to 25 minus b in order to find b value. Minus b करें तो हम इधर प्लस भी आते हैं. B plus b which is 2b is equal to 25 plus 9. 25 plus 9 which is so so this is 34. So which is b is equal to 17. Now we got b value 17. Now I will use these two conditions. What are those two? 9 minus a is equal to b minus 9. So b value we know 17. So 9 minus a is equal to 17 minus 9. Okay. From the 17, if you take 9, we will get 8. So minus 8 is equal a is equal to 8 minus 9. Minus a is equal to minus 1, nothing but a is equal to 1. Now we got a and b values. So whenever they ask you to find these numbers like this, we apply this condition common difference. Okay. Now we will move to another problem that is find the 21st term of an AP. So they given T1 given, T2 given, T3 given, T4 given, but we need to find T21. Okay. 21st term we need to find. So actually formula for T21 is A plus 20D, right? One the less of the A plus 20D. What is A? A we know that is minus 5 plus 20 into D. D we don't know. How to find a D? Common difference. D is equal to T2 minus T1 mod both. T3 minus T2 mod both. Anything will be equal. But as for our convenience, I will take T4 minus T3. See, all will be equal now. But why I have taken this is 1 is 0 agadhar, you know, find out mod is easier. So, it will become 5 by 2 minus 0 which is 5 by 2. So, common difference also we got 5 by 2. That I will substitute here. 5 by 2. So, which is minus 5 plus 2 ones are 2 tens. 10 into 5, 50, which is 45. 45 is 21st term, T21. So, understood how to solve if they get any of these three models. Okay. We will move to another progress. Keep watching. Okay. The next question. Sum of 4th and 8th terms of AP is 24. Sum of 4th and 8th terms. Sum of 4th and 8th. I think what T4 plus T8 given 24. 4th and 8th terms is 24. Next. And sum of its 6th and 10th terms are 44. 6th and 10th. Nothing but T6 and T10 is equal to 44. Understand? They are given like this. Find the first 3 terms. First three terms find out more way. First three terms are A, A plus D, A plus 2D find out more way. Understood? So, as we know how to find T4. So, if we have sequence cotilla, series cotilla, the 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 6, 9, 12, they did not give it. So, but still we can find the first three terms. That is by using this condition. T4 formula, you know, A plus 3D. T8 formula, A plus 7D is equal to 24a. So now it will become 2a, a plus a, 2a, plus 3d plus 7d, it will become 10d is equal to 24. If left hand side and 2 common to one, it will become a plus 5d is equal to, so that 2 it will divide here, it will become 12. So one of the equation we got, a plus 5d is equal to 1. Now by using this second condition, t6 plus t10 equal to 44, t6 under a plus 5d, T10 under A plus 9D is equal to 44. Similarly, here also 2A plus 5 plus 9 which is 14D is equal to 44. So, 2 common to A plus 7D that is equal to 2 will divide here it will become 22. So, see guys by using this these two conditions we got two equations. Now, we can even get the two equations if we simplify those two equations we will get either A value or D value. So, those values we have to substitute here. Simple. See, first equation is a plus 5d is equal to 12. Second equation is a plus 7d is equal to we got 22. See, the add model is the values. So, this is now subtract model. Plus, this is minus, minus, this is plus. So, a a cancel out 5 minus 7 and minus 2d is equal to 12 minus 22 is minus 10. So, this minus minus cancel d value is d value is is equal to 5. So, as we got d value, the d you substitute in this equation 1 or in equation 2. No problem. We will get same value. So, a plus a plus 5 into d. d value is 5 is equal to, so which is 12. So, a is equal to, this is 5, 5 is 25. 
12 minus 25. So a is equal to minus 30. Now we got a value minus 13, d value 5. So therefore the first three terms, the first three terms are a, a plus d, a plus 2d. First term we know the a, so that is minus 13, next a plus d, and then minus 13 plus 5, next a plus 2d, and then minus 13 plus 2 times of 5 which is 10. So what are these numbers? Minus 13, minus 13 plus 5. Minus 13 plus 5 under 3 and again 2 it will be minus 8. Next up, minus 13 plus 10 under minus 3. So, so based on this common difference, minus 8 is the common difference. Better. So, these are the first three terms. Nothing but this is T1, T2 and this is T3. Hope you understand how to find the terms if they given the particular conditions like this. Okay. So, next I will move to another question. Pause the video and you can note down it. Guys, next I came with the beautiful questions here uh, in front of you. Find the middle term of an AP 213, 205, 107, 197, so on, 37. So we need to find middle term. Like for example, uh, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Either are middle term. Menu. So idu 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 cancel agadre. middle term menu 3. So other middle term now find out Marveku. So based on the sequence. So that is first question here. Now, how to find middle term? First, we number of terms to find out. Number of terms, we find out. Number of terms, n value find out. See, as we know, tn. Okay? n value, nth term we know. So, based on that. So, tn we know, tn formula is a plus n minus 1 into d. So, tn. But, n value got the But, a term we got the value. 37. tn. Based on this tn, we can find n value. Why? Because a value we know, a value is what? First term, that is 213 plus n minus 1 into d. d and the no common difference. Common difference is why not mark 205 minus 213, common difference. Okay. So we will get 205 minus 213 is nothing but uh, into minus 8. So nothing but common difference is minus 8, which is equal to 37. So this is minus 8 into n minus 1 is equal to. 37 minus 213. 37 minus 213. This is a minus 8 times of n minus 1 equal to 37 minus 213. So, you will get uh, um, 176. Okay. So, now it is n minus 1 is equal to minus 176 by 8. So, this minus I will set to right hand side. So, 176 divided by 8. Okay. Divided by 8. 8 to the 16, remainder 1, 6, again 8 to 16. So, it is n minus 1 is equal to minus, so, sorry, 37 minus 2, 1, 3 is minus 176 and minus and minus cancel, it is plus only. So, it will become 22, n minus 1 equal to 22, n is equal to 23. So, n value we got odd number. If n value is odd number, then what is the middle term? So, middle term formula. Middle term, middle term formula is n plus 1 by 2 if n is odd. So, as we got odd number that is 23, middle term is 23 plus 1 by 2 which is 24, 25 by 2 is nothing but 12th term. So, middle term is 12th term. But they asked to find the middle term. What is that middle term? So, t12. So, t12 find out model. t12 on the a find out model a plus 11 dita. To find t 12 12th term a plus 11 d. A and the number got there. 2 1 3 plus 11 into d. 11 into d and the d value minus 8. So 2 1 3 minus 88. Okay. Uh, 2 1 3 only 88 remove under. So this is a 13 here. So 13 minus 8 is 5. And this is 20 will be there. 20 minus 8 is 12. So which is equal to 125. So t 12 nothing but middle term is 12th term. That 12th term is 125. So like this, we have to do. Hope you understand. Pause the video and note it down. And I will go for the next question. Next question is also very important in terms of your examination point of view. Why? Because they won't ask the direct question like they will do the sequence and find nth term like that. So they will give the questions of this type also in terms of variable, nothing but some constants. 
if m times the nth term of an ap is equal to n times the nth term of nth term and m not equal to n then show that m plus 1th term is so now question clear agi artha maatkondre if you read the question one or two times extra so then you will understand easily m times the nth term so actually what is nth term tm andre enu a plus m minus 1 into d nth term andre enu a plus n minus 1 into d and again what they are asking is m plus 1th term t m plus n andre enagutte so a plus n plus and m plus n m plus n minus 1 into d okay so first we need mind a little bit what is nth term what is nth term there? now you read the question m times the nth term m times the nth term is equal to n times the nth term so in the first condition e condition use made now m plus 1th term na equal to 0 anta prove madbek we have we need to show that okay so first tm and tn i will substitute here so it will be m of tm tm andre a plus m minus 1 into d m minus 1 into d is equal to n into a plus n minus 1 into d okay so this is you multiply here and simplify so this is ma plus m times of this m of m minus 1 into d is equal to na plus n times of n minus 1 into d now all the terms i will bring here to left hand side it will become ma plus first you simplify this is m square minus m into d so if you bring this to left hand side this is minus na is equal to plus will become minus so minus n square minus n into d which is equal to 0 right if you bring all these terms to left hand side it will become zero now from these two terms see guys from these two terms what we can take common is a if i take a common it will become m minus n right plus in these two terms what we can take common is d if i take d common it will become m square minus m so it is minus n square minus into minus plus n equal to 0 all right now see here this is a times of m minus n plus d into see here observe carefully from n square and minus n square m square minus n square form like a square minus b square you can write as a plus b into a minus b similarly this is m plus n into m minus n we can write okay so minus from from m and n if i take minus common it will become minus m will become plus m plus n will become minus n okay which is equal to zero why i have taken like this is in uh, next step you will understand so this is a times of m minus n plus okay so here i have taken d common if i take d is common as usual now by using these two terms from those two terms what we can take common if i take m minus n common m minus n common thagondre it will be m plus n minus 1 will be there right okay now as these all these are in multiplication what we can take common here is again we can take m minus n common from this and again from this now if i take m minus n common from starting here okay m minus n common thagondre a irutte plus illi kuda m minus n m minus n common thagondre en irutte m plus n minus 1 into d which is equal to 0 irutte right see so almost we got that term uh, m plus 1 the term a plus m minus 1 into d but here this is in the form of ab equal to 0 a into b equal to 0 whenever a b equal to 0 agidre idr form en andre a equal to 0 agbeku illa andre b equal to 0 yavadru ond 0 agidre product of 2 will become 0 right so but here a is nothing but m minus n so m minus n equal to 0 agidre m equal to n agbeku but m is not equal to n right that means m minus n equal to 0 age chance illa m minus n 0 age chance illa anta andre that means automatically b should be equal to 0 then only product of 2 will become 0 so finally a plus m minus 1 into d equal to 0 nothing but sorry a plus m plus n minus 1 into d equal to 0 nothing but t m plus 1th term is equal to 0 hope you understand so these type of problems you will get in cbse or in a state examination 
Still, if you have any doubts regarding these type of problems, you can mention in comment box or else you can mention in our group. Okay. So keep on watching and again next uh, further some of very important from uh, problems I will explain now. So pause the video and note down this. Okay, guys. Next, uh, see this is a very important model in competitive examinations also. Okay, in objective types of questions, find the eighth term from the end. Eighth term from the end. See from the end, and right? See starting in the number got it. That is formula T n. How to find nth term? So T n formula is what a plus n minus one into d. And then starting in the. For example, two, four, six, eight, uh, so on. So on in the right there. Starting in the number got it. Like for example, T three a find out more by two. T three is equal to a plus two d. Three and two d. Y and two. Two plus two into common difference is four minus two two. Nothing but two plus four and three six. Starting in the number got it. First term or second term or third term after. But eighth term from the end, from the end under, अधिक के कोड़ा formula इधर, so that we call as like T n. This is from end, from the end. From end, this is from starting. From starting, okay. T n. That formula is L minus of n minus one into d. So This is very easy to remember the difference between starting and then end. Starting is what? A. What is A? A will call as first term. So from end, end is L. That is L is nothing but last term. But only difference is only only plus is there, minus is there. Yeah, because now last term is there. Understand? So this formula we need to apply. So the here the L is nothing but last term. So n here n is nothing but the term. Term which we need, the term which we need from end, term which we need from the end is called here n. So that formula will apply here. Why? Because a value we know that is seven. What is d? D is nothing but common difference. Ten minus seven is equal to three. And the last term also we know l value. That is l value is equal to one eighty four. Now we need t eight. Nothing but eighth term from an end. Eighth term from an end is nothing but T8. The T8 formula we know that is L minus of n minus 1 into d. Here L is nothing but last term we know that is 184 minus n minus 1. What is n? N and the number of our term will be which term we need from end. So we need eighth term from end. So it will be 8 minus 1 into d. D is common difference three. So which is 184 minus 8 minus 1. Seven seven three is twenty one. So one eighty four minus twenty one four minus one that is three eight minus two six nothing but one sixty three. So one sixty third term is the uh, eighth term from this end. So like this we can find any term from that end. The formula is L plus N minus one into two d. Hope you understand and uh, hope you can solve any type of problem like this. Next question is. See another question. How many multiples of four lie between ten and twenty-five? Before that, you pause the video and note down this. Okay, guys. So, how many multiples of four lie between ten and fifty? So, there is a difference between from ten and fifteen and lie between. Lie between and the uh, like. Uh, see here, is it ten? Some of the numbers will be there in two fifty. In between, lie between means only we have to take in between, in between only. Sometimes question they will ask uh, how many multiples of four will be there from ten to two fifty. Ten to two fifty under ten koda tago bodo, two fifty koda tago bodo. In between is this. That is from one to two fifty under ten to two fifty under. So lie between under in between ten and the two fifty madhya stay there. Okay. So here. <coughs> So how to find this one is C. As you know, here the concept is multiple of four. Namke ten in the two fifty madhya dalve ko. Multiples of four andre ten admele yaun number bharta. Okay, ten admele. Multiple of four. Multiple of four andre twelve bharta. It is right because multiple of four twelve. Next up sixteen. Next up twenty. So on. So ilvi namke limit ida ondo two fifty andar. इधर 250 आ गया है बिफोर दैट टर्म में ना गया था, सो 
so before that term which is a multiple of 4 that is 248 why because 240 is divisible by 4 now we got that terms that is 260 and 20 so on 248 now multiples of 4 multiples of 4 and then right, e terms is the way nothing but n value find out more with so as you know the formula tn tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so that uh, term is 248 okay 248 so a value is 12 plus n minus 1 n is now n is number of terms find out more n minus 1 into d d is common difference 60 minus 4 nothing but 4 multiple of 4 is common difference 4 this is 248 so here this is n minus 1 into 4 is equal to 248 minus 12. 248 minus 12 and 8 minus 2 6 so 4 minus 1 3 that is 236. So n minus 1 into 4. So then n minus 1 is equal to 236 by 4. Okay. 236 by 4. So 4 5 is 20, remainder 3 6 which is 4 9 is 36. Right. So it is a n minus 1 is equal to so we got 59, nothing but n is equal to 60, right, n equal to 60, nothing but number of multiples, number of multiples of 4 in between 10 and 25, 250 is how many we are in, so having 60. So this is how we have to solve if they given the question is subject to, nothing but theory exam put to the how theory put to MCQ, nothing but object to put to then how we have to do. So 10 to 250. Nothing but 250 I will take why because it is the largest okay so I will divide with 4 because are multiples of 4 way. up to 250 I will take okay multiples of 4 so 4 6 24 remainder 1 10 nothing but 4 2 is 8 remainder 2 now we got 62 point something like nothing but 4 5 so 20 but this point 0.5 we won't consider we will consider only 62 so 250 tanka namge 62 multiples of 4 are there okay nothing but divided 4 multiple 62 point something but uh, that point number you won't test only 62 but less than 10 multiples of 4 in any other way on the 4 in on the 8 uh, error numbers remove madre we get 60 okay like this we can also solve this is for object to procedure this is for subject to procedure hope you understand uh, copy this and I will tell you another two important problems so by that I will end this session thank you next the very important model that is sum of first three terms of an AP is 48 sum of first three terms nothing but T1 plus T2 plus T3 sum of first three terms of an AP is 48 given Next, if the product of first and second term, first and second term, first and second product of T1 into T2, so product of first and second terms exceeds four times the third term, that is minus four times of third term by 12. So these are the two conditions, first condition, second condition. Two conditions given based on the two conditions we need to solve. So, but we know, we don't know what is T1, what is T2, what is T3. And as usual now we got T1 plus T2 plus T3 and A first term A plus T2 and A plus D plus T3 and A plus, so T3 and A plus 2D is equal to 48. So then we get 3A plus 3D is equal to 48 and nothing but A plus D is equal to 48 by 3 which is equal to 16. If you use this condition, we will get a plus d. a plus d is the common difference in the first term. So, we should not take like this. Then, how we have to consider the terms? How we have to consider the terms? So, for that we have a formula. So, that is uh, like uh, selection of terms. Selection of terms. Selection of terms in an AP. AP is selection of terms. And then, three terms are available. Four terms are available. Five terms are available. Three terms are available. We have to take A minus D, A and A plus D. So, T1, T2, T3 is available. T1, T2, T3. Yeah, 
ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ 
you tell me any of your friend if you have done means you will he will tell you in the comment box or else personally i will tell this question okay if you message to me okay so the question is divide 32 into four parts okay divide 32 into four parts understand so those four terms are in ap okay such that the product of first and fourth the product of first and fourth t1 and t4 is the product of second and third t2 and t3 so what are those terms as a 7 is to 15 okay what are those terms you need to find out so pause the video and note the note on the question and try yourself and uh, let me know whether you have done or not and whether you have understand the concept related to arithmetic progressions you tell me and compulsory mention the comment box if this video is useful for you then please subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you thank you all of you